Moves over the free kick. Here is Lasada. And there's a confrontation again on the edge of the penalty area. And once again, it's Laura Bassett who is involved. Danielle van der Donk and Rachel Williams also being called over by the referee. Now, did Laura Bassett swing an arm there? And Williams quick to tumble over van der Donk. And it's a yellow card for both Williams and van der Donk. And maybe an escape there for Laura Bassett, who's already... That is good. Van Korijn, maar ze kan hem net niet meegeven. Uh, we krijgen de eerste gele kaart van de wedstrijd. Voor Van der Donk. Ondertussen is Benenstein weer klaar voor de strijd. Strength by Paris, who is scythed down by Daniel van der Donk. And I suspect this might be another booking. Good foul in many ways for the Arsenal uh, team there, because uh, the, the back lane could have been exposed with the pace, obviously, the Paris has on the ball. Van der Donk into the referee's notebook, along with Beth Mead. And... I reckon there might be a few more of them in the second half. Yes, it's uh, one of the... And she is lost by Stringer. Oh, that was a dreadful challenge by Abby Lee Stringer. Very late. Oh, and Van der Donk has pushed the referee. I think you saw frustration coming out then from the um, Everton central midfield players. She's worked really hard throughout the game, uh, but definitely a late one. A yellow card for Stringer and Van der Donk will do well to calm down here. Because not only did she give the referee a shove, she's now complaining. And I think she's lucky now to get just a yellow, actually. Yeah. Van der Donk. It'd be interesting to see back because she must have been one of the nearest players and she's obviously thought it was a very... Oh, it is a, a naughty challenge. I say naughty, it's a very badly timed challenge and a high one. Which is something that's really unusual in the female game, to be honest. But it's one I think that if Stringer looks back, she'll regret that challenge because she could have, she could have hurt Beth Mead here. I think they're both lucky, actually, having seen that replay back. And Beth Mead is still down here, and also Van der Donk's reaction. Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Look, somebody needs to control her there. There's, uh, there's always a lot of emotion in the game. We've already. Well played by Yallop to get it away, and now Sam Kerr with it all to do. And that is a shameless foul. A clear push in the back, and has bladed a yellow card, as you'll see. And Van der Donk, who has been perhaps the angriest of the Dutch players, has a feeling of inevitability that she might end up in the book here, and commits the foul that leads to the Netherlands' first booking in this game. For Sweden by Sembrandt, cleared away as far as Aslani. Aslani. So the foul by Van der Donk it is. It's a free kick to Sweden. Nervous moment suddenly. The cards coming out for Van der Donk. And we're into the last five minutes of extra time. Jackie Grunin's goal, the difference. The Netherlands. And what it can do here to his gout, you can see much of her being brought down there by Van der Donk. That's another side of Van der Donk's game. It's a biting midfielder to give United the chance to put something in the box. We're going to get a late, late opportunity, late, late equaliser here at the Lee Sports Village Stadium. Van der Donk. Yeah, talking to you on a yellow card. It was very, very tactical there, you'd say, for being kind of a tenure.